Christina Villalobos, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, V-I-L-L-A-L-O-B-O-S, and I'm the Public Information Officer for the CSUN Department of Police Services. Uh, can you run me through what happened last night? At approximately 11 o'clock last night, um, one of our CSUN students was traveling eastbound on Prairie on a skateboard where he was approached by two males um, who had brandished a weapon. The incident occurred um, just in front of the B3 parking structure and that student quickly went to the nearest emergency blue light phone and activated that blue light phone which connected him directly to police dispatch. Was there a weapon used? A uh, handgun was brandished. Um, the victim did see it and um, no property was taken, no injuries occurred, but the victim quickly moved on and went to that blue light phone and called police. A description of the suspects? Two male Hispanics, both approximately 5'10". Um, they were witnessed getting into a gray sedan. This is uh, one of two incidents that happened last night that um, are similar of the suspect description? Coincidentally, shortly after our incident was reported, um, there was an off-campus incident that was handled by LAPD. They received a call of uh, a, an attempted robbery as well, matching the victim's uh, description of those two suspects that were involved, as well as the vehicle that they were driving. So LAPD is looking into that incident, and our detectives are working closely with them um, on both cases. What is your advice to students? We encourage students to never walk alone at night, whether it's on or off campus, of course. The student was very smart in going to the nearest blue light phone, so he was able to go to a blue light phone that was very close to his location, simply pressed a button and was automatically connected to our police dispatchers on campus.